Okay, so I'm out here in leafy Buckinghamshire on the outskirts of town. You can just see it in the very distance over there. Um, this is a field that the local grammar school use on occasions to graze their ponies. The lady who owns the place hasn't got any anymore, so she has the grammar school ponies down every so often. Anyway, what I want to show you today is the boomer asp. Some of you may have seen it in a previous video, but I just did a very brief overview in that video. I'm going to try and do a bit more in this one. And there it is. It's quite a hefty bit of kit. It's very well made. It's very sturdy. Feels nice in your hand. Uh, I don't know if you can see the teeth. They're, they're quite big. They're very sharp. They go around in semicircles. They meet in the middle there. Um, and you'll see why when you I show you how to use it. It's substantial. This one's getting a bit dirty. I've had it quite a long while. It's about 3 sixteenths thick. Obviously made a very good tool steel of some sort. And that's the sort of way you hold it. I don't know if you have your thumbs on top or underneath, whichever is more comfortable. Um, I think mine tend to be on top. And the teeth are nice and sharp still. So really, the next thing is to go and see if I can show you how to use it. It's not for every application. Um, if you're in a barn with a constant supply of horses coming coming at you, then it's perfect. You'd, I'd use it all day. But in certain circumstances, like for example, I think I said on my other video, I've got a, a herd of Exmoors, which I do, which is just up the road from this field actually. Um, and it's not very convenient because you sort of walk out into the middle of the field with the rasp and your snips. Um, and to carry another rasp is a bit of a pain because you can only really use this on the foot surface. So once you've done the foot surface, if you want to trim up the or tidy up the, the sort of the wall from the front, you can't really, not with this boomer rasp, you have to have your ordinary rasp. So it's not ideal for every situation, but it is good for a lot of situations. I really like it. Um, as I say, if I was in a barn, or even here, with a constant stream of ponies coming at me all day, it'd be perfect. The other thing it's not all that good for is very small feet. Um, I've, not, I've tried it, but I haven't had a lot of success. It's just too big. I don't think there is a, a smaller version. I think this is it. Um, but if you're a, if you don't do any little ponies or you just do the odd one or two, you know, it doesn't. It's 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 not a big deal. But it's a good thing to have in your toolbox. Or like I do, I, I pin it to the. I've got magnets in the back of the truck, and I leave it in there for when I'm not using it. So. Basically, I'm trimming up the foot as normal. I'm trying to. Feet have gone a bit hard at the moment. It's really dried up around here. We've got, we've had, I won't say a heat wave, but it's been pretty warm. Um, and a lot of the feet are drying out quite substantially, and it's making them very brittle and hard. Um, so there we go. Trim up as normal. Get any, rid of any ugly bits of sole if you can. And then what you've got to do, have it that way up, get the foot up, and what you're trying to do is anchor it at the heel, one heel, while you move it around from the other, in that sort of motion. And then you anchor it at the opposite heel, and go in the opposite direction. Now, as, as at the moment I've got my thumbs underneath if that's comfortable for you but I, I actually like it with my thumbs over the top I'm not sure which is correct but I find it much more comfortable with my thumbs on the top rather than underneath but not like that you don't want to have your hands underneath you want to have your hands over the top and you go from one side to the other and that's basically it and I can tell you one thing, it gives a lovely smooth finish. 
and also very level. I've got the magnets on the side for that. But yeah, it, it gives a very level finish without you having to keep looking down, checking to see if you've got you know level one way or the other. You just as long as you're giving it even pressure, you will get a smooth surface. Just run around the edge with your rasp and that's it, done. And it does exactly the same process on the hinds. Let's see if we can get the hind off and show you this one. This old boy is a bit stiff behind. He has to have medication before I come just to loosen him up a little bit. He's getting on a bit now. His joints aren't as supple as they used to be. Anyway, I shall put in the description and also at the end of the video the links to where you can get these. If you're in the UK the main supplier is Stromsholm. Um, you can also get them worldwide from Royal Kirkheart and if you're still struggling you can go direct to um, the, the inventor Thomas at Navia Tools DK. As I say, I'll put all these links and things in the descriptions um, and at the end. So any of you farriers who fancy giving this a go, and I do encourage you all actually, even if you don't like the look of it, just try it, give it a go. Even if you just buy one, have a go, see what you think, because although it's not for every application, when you do use it, it, it gives a lovely finish. So I would encourage everybody to at least try it once. And I know I'm not getting paid to say that either. <laughs> so don't think I am. So get this blooming hair out of the way. This pony has got so much hair. Just try and trim this up. I say he's a bit stiff and he's he's leaning a bit. Trim up in the normal manner. So these are very brittle at the moment. The trouble is we don't get a, a, a period of sort of um, acclimatisation. It's either wet and nasty or hot and dry. We don't seem to get anything in between. Which is why the feet seem to suffer a bit more. Because they don't uh, get a chance to change slowly. Alright, same process. Hold it in the same manner. And again, anchor it at one heel and push it across and round. It does take some getting used to. It's not instantly natural. Um, I suppose because you're brought up using an ordinary traditional style rasp it's it is a bit unnatural to to use but that's it it's done a couple of rasps and it's it's done really is that quick tidy them up and that's it so i'm just going to continue this video a little bit and uh, see if i can fit a couple of these shoes it's a lovely place down here, so quiet, no one about. Occasionally I will get brought a cup of tea, but usually it's just the odd walker walking past on the footpath next to me. But other than that, it's lovely. I, unfortunately, I can't let my little dog out because the place next door has got um, ducks, geese and alpacas. She won't bother with the alpacas, but she will chase the ducks and geese until she can catch them. And even though they're in pens, she will just harass them all morning. So unfortunately, she's got to stay in the truck until just before we leave. Then I'll let, just let her out for a little run round and keep an eye on her. So let's have a little look. Bearing in mind, I haven't touched this foot other than with the boomer rasp been no extra levelling up. Unfortunately my camera seems to have moved a little bit. 
it's not getting a proper view. Apologise for that, but you get the idea. <coughs> Excuse me, there you can see it's a good even burn. And that one I think will do. That was a good good judgment of mine. Just do the hind and then I'll leave you to have a think about the boomer rasp. Get on the net and start searching. This foot's a little bit narrow. As I say, he's getting on a bit and his feet aren't in the best of shape. Oh, it's all one off me. Magnets. Come on, matey boy. Let's have a little look at you. Get this hair out of the way. Mm, that's not a particularly good fit, that one. I didn't judge that one very well. Is that down the other side? No. That's a bit wide. Down here in the fields, you get some quite amazing sights. Get the deer come down. And the kites all over a place flying around. Field full, fields full of rabbits. It really is nice out here. Unfortunately, I don't get to spend much of my days in places like this. When I do, you have to make the most of it. I think that's still not quite right. It's still a bit wide. See, I'm not pushing it right down as I'm um, burning that on because if it's not fitted properly, I don't want to sort of burn too many different um, impressions, as it were. I want to make sure it fits right, then give it one nice, decent burn. Not only do I not want too many impressions, I don't want to overburn the foot because he, he will feel it and it will hurt if you burn too much. It's another one of the skills of knowing how much to burn. And I think that's just it. That was fitted one last burn. So I shall call it a day. I'm going to go and fit these. Catch you on the next one.